hi you are welcome to this tutorial now in this video i'm going to be showing you a lot of tips and tricks in revit that saves you a lot of time now when you're working in revit you're going to be making use of wall components a lot so what i'm going to show you in this video is some of the things you could use walls to do in projects in order to add you know some feel to your project you add thicknesses to an existing wall and creating some window hood and also bringing in some family components such as planting and you bring it once instead of visiting your library over and over all you just have to do is duplicate and then using just one plant component like that to create order I'm going to be showing you that and it saves you a lot of time now to get started you just have to open a Revit project like this a new project template like this and then the next thing you want to do is just to go to the elevation to set up the levels let's just pick elevation east we have two levels level one and level two at four meters height and let's go back to our level one and make a sketch of the walls so we pick a wall as wall one activated so make a sketch just like that so okay now if we highlight this wall you can see that um, the unconnected is 2000 let's take it up to level 2 which is 4000 millimeters high okay the next thing we want to do is to put a door here and then put two windows here before we can continue let's pick window we can load it okay let's pick window we can take this and then if we check the parameters of the window you see it has a height of 1200 millimeters and a width of 900 millimeters and we can say okay and place here and then let's go ahead and pick a door you can make deal with this too let's set up the parameters as well 2100 millimeters high 1200 millimeters width okay let's place the door here all right now if we go to 3d what we have done now let's give it a base a foundation go back to level one and pick our floor architecture let's pick a rectangle start from this point to this point hit finish to go to 3d you see we now have a base under it so now what i want to show you here with the wall the first trick to create a window hood around this window the easiest and fastest way to do that in order to save your time in your workflow is just to go create a wall and give it a different thickness from this so let's just go ahead and pick a wall and you edit this you duplicate it and call it and just name it after the elements let's say window hood say okay we can change the thickness to say 75 millimeters say okay okay now you go to level one you pick a wall and place the wall you can change the location line of the wall to finish phase okay finish phase exterior is fine you can drop it somewhere here and when you go back to 3d elevation you can see the wall standing there and so what you have to do at this point is to select the wall so if you go if you select the wall you activate the contextual tab and then giving you several options of what to do with the wall as you can see so here you go straight to edit profile so if you click on edit profile it see you see it turns into a sketch mode now you can go ahead and delete this original one and pick a line or a rectangle and make a sketch just like that over the window and then you click on this is offset or OF for short and then you can offset it to 100 millimeters which is okay if you click and click that way that way just like so you hit finish if you go to watch it you can see you've added a thickness to 
it you've created a window hood around the window now if you check this you see that this has not yet been created but we can do that so if we go back to do the next one there is no point going to create another wall except you want them to be different but as long as they are running on the same line on the same axis you can use the same um cornice on all of them lying on the same axis so if we go here and select the window hood you see edit profile you can use the same profile to create on this other one edit um offset the same hundred millimeters so you can see you've added that around those windows along the same line now that's how you apply window hood to it now the next thing i want to show you is how you can add some thickness to your wall which is very common in modern designs so in revit here how to achieve that is that we just have to go pick a wall edit the wall and see how we can attach it to this wall what we have to do now is to go back to our level one now if you also check you see this window hood how it appears here and how it appears here it's looking nice anyways but let's take another wall let's go ahead and edit the wall duplicate this you can call it window hood 2 whatever you can leave it at 75 millimeters thickness also say okay then for the location line finish face exterior which is okay and then you drop it there just like that but if you check the unconnected you see that it's unconnected at 2000 millimeters so it's going to go from halfway down now if we check our 3d view you see the wall right there so if you tap it you see but the problem right here is that it's covering the windows and the doors so what to do in order to reveal our windows and doors is to go to modify tab here and then we pick join geometry you click on this one click on the next one you notice that it has created that opening our windows and doors can now be seen now if we put this on a realistic mode you'll be able to see what we have done but you can further manipulate this by clicking on it and going to this let's leave this at 1000 millimeters the unconnected so just like that you can just do anything you feel like doing with it by coming to the property dialog box and then the unconnected is the distance away from the ground floor so this we can make this to be one two oh, but just whatever just for you to know how you can do that if you take a closer look you will notice that this is covering some part of this window what do you do in this case in order to tidy here up if you click on the wall you go to edit profile you can pick a split your split and split any of these points split this you split that you drag this backward and also drag this backward then you can pick your line of course you know the rules Revit always wants you to ensure a close loop you drag this back too so you can see yeah so this is the second trick now the third thing I want you to know in this video is how when bringing in a, a, a component a Revit component maybe such as planting component how you can go about you know using one um, interaction to achieve many things in order to save you time as well so let's just go ahead and bring in components so let's go to our level one and 
pick architecture you say components place a component okay then we can load in load the family let's just leave it like this and then put this one on the list so we are looking for planting this is our planting let's put it on a thumbnail so we can know what we are picking okay let's pick this arrow pc shrub let's pick it open it's 2014 version so revit is going to update it to 2020 now we have picked this and then if you go to your project component okay is there already is there let's pick it let's just drop it here now if we go to trade the to, just to see the kind of grass it is you can see the species of plant now what i want to show you here is we've brought this we can go back to level one and just copy it into three different places we we'll copy let's put it in multiple we'll place it here and place it there and then let's place this one here and select it you select it you go edit you duplicate it um okay it becomes a different it becomes different from this one so we can as well select that and copy it to three different places and let's also place another one here and duplicate it duplicate okay and also copy into three different places okay now remember we just brought in just one plant and we copied and duplicated this one now to prove to you that they are all different family categories right now if i click on this one and right click and select similar here you notice that it's just this tray telling you that these other ones are quite different so we can go ahead and change this to another grass change this also to another one now how do we do that if we go to our, our trade view you can see all the grasses they are one we've not changed anyone now if i select this and choose to change it you see each time you select if you come to your property uh, uh, dialog box you see it becomes activated but if you go to edit type you can see the name here is this now if you did this you can change the name if you want you can change the name you cast reflection on it that's just in case after rendering it is going to cast a reflection on it you know and depending on the direction the perspective you want the reflection to go is like a shadow being cast in front back left or right if you drop this down you see all the possible perspective you can cast that but just just cancel that and say okay now this is the name if you click here it's going to bring you into this box where you have the opportunity to select whichever um kind or nature of grass you want let's say we select this now we say okay okay you can see we've changed this we can as well change this to another species rather you click that you edit you go here and you can change that to let's say this okay then we can also leave this like that or change it to something else too just to show you how this works so you can see different grasses different grasses in just one interaction but otherwise you can just go back to a uh, project library and start looking out for a different grass where you can load into your project but that takes a lot of time this method here saves you time now with this we have come to the end of this tutorial 
I just like you to go ahead and like this video, share it, comment, subscribe to this channel because we make tutorials like this every week. Thank you for watching.